Hawks. And here's uh, Knepper's onboard camera as this huge slide job by Flock. Look at that. He went. He did the slide job way to the top, and look at what happens, though. Doty goes right to the bottom, diamonds off of the corner down to the bottom, and he retains the position because Flock went so high and so hard into that cushion that he gave Doty the chance to go to the bottom and take the position back. Nice job by both those guys. I mean, they both did exactly what they were supposed to do. Flock pulled off the slide job perfectly, and Kevin Doty countered it perfectly. There is Tracy Hines running in second position. Kevin Doty is third, followed by Robbie Flock and Jimmy Sills. Then six through ten, Randy Cook, Dan Drynan, Richard Griffin, Steve Knepper, and Kevin Thomas. 84 laps now complete out of 100. So we're nearing the closing laps of this race. And next time around, they'll be getting the green flag. Well, our salute, as we do every time on uh, Thunder, to CarQuest for providing our onboard cameras. For your nearest CarQuest auto parts store, Kyle 1-800-492-PART. Yeah, we also want to thank uh, Tom Charters and Misco Rents for their lifts that we have out here tonight that help us bring you all these onboard cameras. Boy, it's cold up there. The guy's wrapped up in a blanket. I can't blame him. It's seasonably <laughs> cold here in Indiana, and it's also windy tonight. The green flag is displayed. Here we go once again. Hines will try to dispose of the two lap cars in front of as quickly as possible and set sail for Leffler. Well, he did. He yes, got around. He, did. he got around him right in the first corner. So now it's just going to be a question of who's faster and can he catch Leffler? Well, Leffler's been on the point uh, now for quite some time. And it's going to be a tough job for him to go get him, I think. And despite the fact that Tracy was able to uh, get around those two slower cars and move into second position without any cars between him and the leader, Leffler got a pretty good jump. You can see the interval there between first and second. And so Hines has his work cut out for him, but uh, he might be able to do it. Well, Leffler's looked pretty much uh, on top of things ever since Jay Drake had his trouble. Here you can see Danny Drynan running right behind. Uh, Tracy Hines who's running in second spot. There's the interval and it has opened up to about uh, 15 car lengths as uh, you know Jason Leffler just seems to have things well in hand. Each of these drivers has won five USAC national midget races this year as we take a look at Dan Dryden who is in the top 10 but a lap down. Jason Leffler has won at the 16th Street Speedway. Lincoln Nebraska he won two races in Belleville and at Lakeside Speedway in Kansas City. Tracy Hines has also won five races in national USAC midget competition. He won at Winchester, Salem, Anderson, Indianapolis Raceway Park, and Louisville. And now Kevin Doty is uh, strong in third position. Yeah, he's running in third position. He's done a nice job all night long. He just hasn't been quite enough to handle those guys in first and second spot. He's gotten back around Robbie Plock and kind of pulled away from Robbie Plock now. Flock did not uh, run nearly as good after that yellow flag as he did before. Kevin Doty won this race in 1993, or make that 1994. In 93, he was fourth. In 95, he was fourth, I should say. And last year, he finished in 33rd position. He was the first car out of the race. But Doty has a good run going here tonight. He's in third spot as we now complete 91 laps. There are just five more to go. Well, Kevin Doty's been a tough dirt driver, all, you know, pretty much his whole career. As we take a look here, Knepper has pulled into the pit, so he is out as well. So Steve Knepper calls it a night with only 10 laps to go. Finished in the top 10 the past three years here at the Hut 100, but will not get a top 10 finish tonight. He was seventh last year, second in 95, and fourth in 94. As we continue to follow Kevin Doty in third position. And there is the interval between first and second. Fairly sizable lead for Jason Leffler. Well, the question is going to be, are these guys have enough fuel? Remember last year we had a couple of guys run out of fuel near the end of the race. Knepper just pulled in. I wouldn't think that he would be out of fuel, but uh, if they did not refill on that red flag, some of these guys might be having uh, fuel problems near the end of this race. Well, that's something to think about here in the closing stages of this event. Everything looks good right now, though, for first and second, but... Uh, 
it is clear that Tracy Hines is not gaining any uh, length of the racetrack. I mean, he's just not being able to close in as Leffler maintains that same advantage. Yeah, it looks like they're both running just about the same speed. He needs some lap traffic to get in there and help him out a little bit. He needs uh, Leffler to make a mistake, which is uh, doesn't happen a whole lot. But anything can happen. And you can see that that cushion has moved up way to the top of the racetrack. Here's only uh, a few feet from the top of that cushion to the fence, especially down in turns three and four. 95 laps completed, five laps to go. Leffler leads. Tracy Hines runs in second position in car number six. Remember, Tracy Hines did not start the USAC National Midget season in this car. He switched to it a few races ago and has really been doing pretty well in it. Now look at Jason Leffler. He gets up against that cushion and is hard on the throttle before he ever makes that corner. He really has got this thing figured out. But there's quite a bit of lap traffic now that Leffler may have to deal with before the checkered flag drops. And we have seen earlier in the race that he's had difficulty on occasion. Critter Malone is stopped on the racetrack and the caution comes out. Well, this is going to give Tracy Hines that one last shot to get back around him. Now remember this this race will not end under a yellow so it's got they've got to run the last two rate uh, laps under green so it's going to give him at least two laps to try to get around him I think they're on lap 96 right now it'll mm -hmm. probably be no more than two laps to go when they get the green flag again well this could be interesting because you know Tracy Hines is going to give it his best shot here when we go back to racing and by the same token Jason Leffler is uh, the one that will decide when the pace can be picked up and has uh, the possibility of getting the jump on everybody else. But we'll see what happens. There's Critter Malone. He's out of the car, but he is also out of the race. Yeah, tough break for him. He's, uh, he's been running hard all night long. He uh, didn't have the race car set up quite as good as he wanted it, but uh, he uh, just, you know, something's gone wrong with him. He's out of the race. Kevin Doty is running third. Robbie Flock is in fourth position, and Jimmy Sills is in fifth. As we near the uh, last laps, but we will have at least two under green here. And yeah, we haven't said a lot about Jimmy Sills. He's maintained himself on that lead lap all night long. Randy Cook, I think, is running in sixth. He's also on the lead lap. Everybody else has fallen a lap behind, but nobody has been able to handle Tracy Hines and, and Jay Drake. And Jason Leffler, those three guys have been the class of the field, although the 50 car of Kevin Doty has also run very well. We have a big racing weekend coming up this coming weekend, starting off tomorrow at Richmond uh, International Raceway. The Virginia is for Lovers 200. That's the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And you can see the race live here on the Deuce at 8.30 tomorrow evening. Then on Friday at 7.30, the Autolite Platinum 250 Bush Grand National Series at 7.30 Eastern Time, also live on ESPN. Our XI NASCAR Select Batteries 400 Winston Cup race will be on at 7 o'clock Eastern Time on Saturday night. One of, another one of those Saturday night races, and it should be good. We'll see if uh, Jeff Gordon can continue his warning ways, and we'll also see the Toyota Grand Prix of Monterey on Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN as Alex Zanardi tries once again to wrap up the car championship. He failed to do so last week. We'll see if he can do it this time. Look at this little incident out there. Well, he's going to pull up on the outside of him. What is what he's going to say? <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in seconds. You better yes. watch out. And when the green flag drops, you better be on the button or I'll be <laughs> passing you. <laughs> well, those guys race plenty hard against each other all year long, and uh, they, they know that the other one is going to have a few tricks up his sleeve with this uh, little time to go. So I'm sure they're both going to be trying to outthink, outsmart, and outdrive the other one on this restart. Okay, one more lap to go, and we will be under green again, and we will be under green hopefully for the final time as we get this thing wrapped up and in the record books. Critter Malone's car is off the track. And we are just about ready to decide it. Will it be Jason Leffler or will it be Tracy Hines, who's running in second position? There is a lap car, Dan Drynan. Then comes the third place car, the white number 50 of Kevin Doty. Now, Kevin Doty's still in this thing. Robbie Flock is only about five cars back, so that'd be a long way for him to go. 
But I think the race is going to be between Leffler and Hines right now. And Hines has got to get a good start. He doesn't get a very good restart as nope. Leffler just jumps away. Yep, he's jumped out to already a 4-5 car length advantage as they head for turn number one. Leffler is holding the line at the moment. They go down the back stretch, and still the interval remains just about the same. The white flag will be coming out this time around, and Jason Leffler will have one more lap to go in the 1997 45th 100th. There's the white flag, one lap to go. And it looks like that Jason Leffler is going to, whoop, we have a car that's slow down on the racetrack. That's David Bridges in car number 11. I don't think we're going to see a caution. We're going to go to the checkered. Well, nope, we're going caution. Well, this is going to be interesting. Now, <laughs> now it brings out the thing. We've got two more laps to run once again. And uh, fuel is going to become a problem here shortly. <laughs> These guys have now run over 100 laps. Uh, they did get a stop to chance, uh, chance to stop on race lap 11, or lap 9, excuse me, and put in some fuel. So they should be OK unless they chose not to put in uh, fuel on that red flag. <laughs> if, they were, if they ran the first part of the race and didn't put any fuel in on that red flag, then they could start worrying about their fuel problem. Wow, this just uh, causes more concern, I'm sure, for Leffler and for Hines. Now, the car of uh, David Bridges is down in turn number three, and they're going to get the car off the racetrack, of course, as quickly as they can, because uh, the, the longer we go here, the less, the greater chance there is of uh, cars running out of fuel. I thought maybe they would get the uh, one-to-go signal that time, but they do not, so it'll be at least two more times before we go back to green. There you go, the Hoosier Lottery 45th Hot 100. And this thing is only two laps to go. And uh, it's going to take a big error or a lot of bad luck, it appears, for Jason Leffler to lose this race. But Tracy Hines is certainly going to sit there and haunt him and make him earn it, I'll guarantee you that. <laughs> yeah, you can bet on that. What a great year it's been for both of these drivers, especially Jason Leffler, who has come here from California and been so very, very impressive in the National Midget Series. Well, of course, his teammate Jay Drake, he's been very impressive. Just doesn't seem like he's had any luck, just like tonight. He's leading the race and has something go uh, go wrong with the race car. So th this is a tough, tough series. I don't think anybody realizes how demanding this Midget Series is. You run all over the country from coast to coast. You run uh, 30, 35 races a year on every kind of racetrack imaginable, everything from a little uh, quarter mile pavement to uh, fifth mile dirt on up to the uh, mile uh, racetracks at uh, PPIR. So it's a very, very demanding circuit that they run on. It really is. It's been our pleasure to be a part of the series this year and also a part of the USAC Stoops Freightliner Sprint Cars and the Silver Crown Series for that matter. And we look forward to more open wheel competition on Thunder in 1998 here's the green flag we go back to racing and again two laps to go here we will run green white and checkered we will not end the race under the caution and i believe leffler gets an even bigger jump this time larry yeah i think he did too he got a great jump tracy hines now Doty, though is, uh, he did not get a great start either so he's still running in third but he's still got a lap car between himself and tracy hines Here's the white flag. One more lap to go for Jason Leffler, and the Hunt 100 will be his. Let's see if he can hold off the challenge and complete this final lap. He's off the second corner and down the back stretch. There's second place Tracy Hines, and the interval remains about the same. And so Jason Leffler adds his name to the record book that also contains the names of Tony Bettenhausen, Don Branson, A.J. Foyt, Mel Kenyon, Larry Rice, Rich Vogler, Jeff Gordon, and many others as winner of the Hot 100 at the Terre Haute Action Track. A great run for Jason, who started back in the inside of row number three and held off all challengers and takes home the checkered flag. We're late. We uh, were supposed to be off the air a half hour ago. Hope we can get a word with Jason, but uh, if we can't, we will... Uh, wait and talk with him a little bit later. Dave Despain. Well, what a fitting way to wrap up our Thunder Series for 1997. We've seen the top two drivers in the USAC Midget Division run 1-2 here this evening. The runner-up, Tracy Hines, also second-ranked in the championship standings, 
And the winner, taking his place atop the podium where so many of the greats of history have come, Jason Leffler wins the Hot 100. Been a great year. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Dave Despain for Bob Jenkins and Larry Rice. So long, everybody.